Welcome to this 25-minute beginner-friendly yoga class. My name is Devi, and today we'll be doing a slow floor-based flow sequence for a full body stretch. To begin, come into a comfortable cross-legged sitting position with your spine lifted up nice and tall. You may want to sit on top of a cushion or a folded blanket to make this more comfortable. Rest your hands on your legs and close your eyes. And take a deep breath in. Exhale, relax your body where it is. Inhaling once again to fill the ribs and the belly and the back. Nice long exhale, softening. Open your eyes now to begin moving the head and neck gently. Just drop your chin towards your chest. And now bring the head back, lifting the chin, lifting the gaze. Exhale, head down. Inhale, lifting up and back. Exhale, last time. Inhale, lifting up and back. And as the head comes forward, round your spine back now. Bring the ribs back. And inhale, ribs forward, arch the back. Exhale back, chin toward chest. Inhale forward, lift the gaze. Exhaling back and inhaling forward. Circle the torso now, ribs to one side, and back to the other side, and forward. Keep going in this direction two more times, warming up the spine, the upper body. And as you come all the way around this last time, just change the direction of the circles. Feeling the shoulders, the head, the neck, three circles in this direction. Nice and slow. Bring it back around to the front, centering yourself, arms to your sides. Circle your arms around and up as you inhale your breath. Drop your right hand to the floor for a side stretch. Breathe into the ribs and the waist. Come back up and lift both arms overhead. Inhale, exhale, side stretch to the other side. Expanding into the side stretch. And now lift up, reach up, and twist to your right. Take the right hand behind you on the floor, left hand to the outside of the front knee. Release and inhale, arms overhead. Twist to the other side. Lifting up through your spine as you twist. And bring it back around as you inhale, arms overhead. Begin again, exhale to the side stretch. Inhale up to the center, exhale second side. Inhale up to the center and now the twist, exhaling. Inhale to the front and exhale to the second side. Inhale up to center, side stretch last round. Inhale up to center, exhale second side. Inhale, reach up to the twist now, exhale. Inhale, up to the center. Exhale, second side. Inhale, reach the arms overhead last time and just float them down to your sides. Let's come into a neck and shoulder stretch now. Drop your right ear toward your right shoulder. Reach out through the left fingertips. Rotate the hand so the thumb turns down and bring the hand to the back to the low ribs. Now bring the other arm up to hold on to the left side of the head and just gently pull some traction between the head and the shoulder. Feeling this length, feeling this stretch. Inhale and exhale, release. Coming to the other side, dropping the left ear toward the left shoulder. Reach the right arm out, wiggle the fingertips and turn the palm down. Bring the hand behind the back to the low ribs. Reach the other arm up and over, holding the side of the head, finding this gentle traction to stretch into the right side of your neck. Inhale and exhale, release, come back to the center, feeling both sides of your neck. Climbing onto hands and knees now for cat and cow. 
Place your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. And as you inhale, lift your gaze, come into a back bend. As you exhale, round your spine, tuck your chin, tuck your tail. Inhale, lifting the gaze. And exhale, rounding the spine. Inhale, finding the back bend last time here. Exhale, round your spine and bring it all the way back to child's pose, hips toward the heels, softening forehead toward the earth and breathe into your back body. Now coming up to hands and knees and tuck the toes to come into downward facing dog. Your feet about hips width apart as you lift up through your sitting bones Bend into one knee and then the other, walking out the legs, stretching into the backs of the ankles and calves and to start warming up the hips, the thighs, the lower back. Bring the legs back to center and we'll come into a flow starting with plank pose. Shoulders come over the wrists, body in a straight line, inhale and drop the knees, come all the way onto the belly. Place the hands at either side of the chest, lift up to cobra, finding the back bend here, inhaling, stretching the front of the hips and thighs, shoulders back, head lifted, exhaling back down, come into child's pose, lifting hips up and back toward the heels. Round your spine up now to come into hands and knees and tuck the toes to downward dog. Beginning the flow again, starting in plank, shoulders over the wrists and drop the knees all the way onto your belly. Inhale up, cobra. Exhale back down, child's pose. With the inhale, come up to hands and knees and exhale, downward dog. Keeping a slow pace, we take it forward to plank once again, dropping down to the floor. Inhale up to cobra. Exhale all the way back, child's pose. Inhale up to table pose, hands and knees position. Tuck the toes, lift the hips back to downward dog, pressing into the arms. And now shift forward to plank. Last round. Inhale, drop the knees, come to the belly. Lift your heart, cobra. Exhale, come all the way to child's pose. And now rest. Breathe. Coming up now to hands and knees and into puppy pose. Take the hands a few inches or a foot forward. Settle your hips back. Come into a back bend. Your chest coming toward the ground. Your armpits opening. Your ribs stretching. And now thread the needle pose. We'll slide the right arm underneath the left. Bringing the right ear toward the ground and bringing the right outside of the shoulder toward the ground. Breathing here into the twist. Come back to center now. Stretching back into child's pose, both arms in front, melting the heart toward the ground. And let's slide the left arm under the right, thread the needle pose. Bringing the left ear toward the ground Lengthening the left side of the neck, stretching the back of the left shoulder. And slowly returning back to center, coming to hands and knees and settling back to child's pose. Resting here for a moment. 
And now coming into a side stretching child's pose, bringing both hands toward the left side edge of your mat, right hand on top of the left. Breathing into the length in the right side of the torso, the right ribs, the right armpit. Let's walk the hands to the other side now, stretching into the left side of the body. Breathing into the left side. And returning to the center, coming back up to hands and knees. Make your way into a lunge with the left leg forward. Step the foot between the hands and lift your torso. Reach your arms forward and up for crescent lunge. Sinking the hips down, lengthening the front of your right thigh. Lift the gaze if that feels good. Reach up and back. Inhale. And as you exhale, frame the front foot again and shift the hips back to come into half split, drawing the left toes back toward you. Stretching into the back of the left leg, back of the left thigh. Softening the shoulders and the head forward and down. Come forward again and place the left hand on the left knee. Reach the right arm straight up into the air. Inhale here and come into a twist, bringing the right elbow across the knee and place the palms together on your side. Turn the gaze to the side or maybe up to the ceiling. Breathe in. And as you exhale, release the twist, framing the front foot with the hands, shifting back into plank pose. Shoulders over the wrists, inhale, drop the knees, come to the belly. Cobra pose, inhale, lift to the back bend, And now exhale, child's pose. Inhale, hands and knees, lunging on the other side, right leg forward between the hands. Arms come forward and up, crescent lunge. Lift the gaze or keep the head forward if that feels better. Inhale to find the back bend, leaning back. Stretching into the front of the left hip and the front of the left thigh. And now bring it down, hands to either side of the front foot for a half split. Shift the hips back, drawing the right toes back toward you. Softening the shoulders, softening the head, stretching the back of the right thigh. Breathing into what you feel. Shift forward now into the lunge once again. Right hand on the knee, left arm reaches straight up. Inhale, gazing up. Exhale to your twist, elbow across the knee. Place the palms together in that prayer position and twist. Using gentle pressure of the left elbow against the knee to bring yourself around. Slowly come back to center. Place the hands on either side of the foot, stepping back, plank pose, inhale. Exhale down to the floor, inhale up to cobra, exhale child's pose. Lift back up to hands and knees, coming into pigeon pose. We'll slide the right knee forward, turn the foot toward the opposite side, and settle the hips back. Lifting up through the crown of the head, finding this upright pigeon pose. Fingertips press the ground as you inhale, and now exhale, come forward and down. You can rest on your elbows, or rest on your forehead, or use a block under your head. We're looking to feel this stretch in the right glutes, so shifting till you feel comfortable Breathing. And slowly come up now 
and sit over onto your right hip to bring the back leg around to the front. And now this left leg extends in front of you. Right foot bends to the inner upper thigh. One-legged forward bend. Face the extended leg. Come forward. Hands could rest on your ankle, on your foot, or on the floor. Feel free to use a strap around your foot here or to put as much cushioning under your seat as you need to make this comfortable. Take an inhaling breath into your back body and exhaling, soften your body into the forward bend. Relaxing here. And now slowly releasing and send the left leg back behind you once again. Make your way into downward dog. Walk out the legs, feel the right hip, feel the left hip. We'll take it to the second side, dropping the knees, sliding the left knee forward, turning the shin, lifting up through the chest, inhaling, lifting the crown of your head. And as you release down to the floor, finding a comfortable position on the elbows, forehead to the floor, or any props you need to make yourself comfortable here. Feeling the stretch now in the left buttock, adjusting your angles till it feels good. Breathing here. Slowly releasing. As you come up, sit over onto your left hip. Bring your back leg around to the front. Coming into the one leg forward bend, left foot to the inner upper thigh as you stretch forward over the right leg. Placing the hands wherever they're comfortable, shin, foot, floor, or a strap. Inhaling into the back body. As you exhale, feel yourself soften into this stretch. And now slowly begin to come up. And slowly move on to your back. And hug your knees in toward your chest. And feel your body on the floor now. Make any movements that feel good, rocking side to side or circling your knees. Release your feet to the floor now for bridge pose, placing the heels close to the hips and lift your hips off the ground. Bring the hands together under the back, clasping and rolling the shoulders under the body one at a time. Back of the neck is long and press firmly into the feet and the thighs to lift your hips up higher. Inhale and exhale, come back down and right into a spinal twist. Bring both knees in and over to your left. Shift the hips so that you can get your left hip under your right and reach out through the right arm, opening the right side of the chest. Left hand can come down on the legs to anchor them if that feels good. And breathe into the twist. Feeling the ribs, the waist, Slowly releasing the twist now. Bring the knees up through the center and over to the other side. Adjusting your angles so that it feels comfortable here. Stretching out through the left arm, left shoulder. Right hand resting on the legs. Breathing into the body as it twists.
And now release the twist. Bring the knees to center and make your way into a final resting position on your back. Corpse pose. Shavasana. Letting your arms come out to a comfortable angle away from the body and letting your legs come to a comfortable distance away from one another. And take a deep breath in, filling the heart, filling the belly. Exhale and feel your body settling here into this place on the earth for a nice long rest. Notice the energy that's moving in your body at this moment. What can you feel happening inside? Sensing all of the ways that the body has been stretched and energized. And inviting the healing energy that now comes during this time of stillness. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Let your body relax down even more, allowing your mind to rest as you continue to breathe gently. Inhale and exhale. Feeling the body as a vessel for the breath. And now slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes and stretch out into your arms and legs. You can stretch the arms overhead. Release the arms back down and bend the knees, roll over to the side and come up to sit for a seated meditation. Make yourself comfortable sitting with the spine tall. Taking two minutes to sit quietly and to feel the effects of this practice to savor the energy that you can feel in this moment. Legs in any comfortable position, spine lifted tall. And now breathe into your heart and exhale, softening through the heart. Breathe into your belly, gently expanding the low belly. Exhale, softening the belly. Breathe into your back body, expanding the back body. And exhale, relaxing your spine. allowing the breath to flow very easily and gently now as you simply rest here. We've come to the end of this session. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Please leave me a comment below and let me know how this practice felt for you. I'll see you next time.